What's going on YouTube? It's Chris G613 and uh, just wanted to give you a quick recap of how my 2019 Nationals went. Um, it's Saturday. Uh, I was here for Thursday and Friday. Today I'm going to do some exploring in the city. I just wanted to take a quick uh, quick moment and show you show you how the the national went for me. Um, I did did come. I did have a bunch of stuff here. Um, you can see in the background. <clears throat> got the, the went to trade night. Super awesome time. Um, they did give you a, a swag bag. I was one of the lucky ones that, that came in and uh, and got a swag bag. Um, it actually came with a few different things. Uh, some advertisements from the sponsors, of course. Steve 101, shop, card shop, loads for days, chicken head, one of my favorite Instagram breakers. Um, it did have a Ricky Williams autograph in it, which is pretty cool. Um, and then in the bag, I actually had one of these boxes. And when I opened it up, there was a filler card inside that said a hobby box, a 2019 Luminance football. So I did get a box of Luminance while I was there. Um, since I got it there, I was like, ah, might as well just rip it and just see what's in there. Um, I'm just going to show you the uh, the numbered and the hits out of it. I, I did get a Greg Dortch uh, out of 275, a Ben Roethlisberger out of 275. Um, got a uh, Bryce Love out of 100. Got a little Jordan Humphrey out of 99. Um, the, the shortest print card I got was this Matt Breida, 4 of 10, which I thought was kind of cool. Um, I did get a mem out of 25, carry on Johnson, nice three color, uh, lots of stitching there. I thought that was pretty cool. Got a little Jordan Humphrey auto, sticker auto there out of 149. Got a Noah Fant auto out of 349. And then I got a vet auto, Aaron Jones out of 99. So that's what came out of that free hobby box just for going to trade night. What an awesome night that was. Um, lots of trading going on. I think that that was actually kind of better than the, the National because everybody is super, super nice. They just come up, sit down with their cards, and, and uh, you go through them, and you make a deal. Um, I ended up selling a De'Aaron Fox Flawless RPA that I had while I was there uh, to another, other, another Instagram guy. Um, he just straight up bought it off me, which I thought was pretty cool. It gave me a fair price. We made a deal, so... That was awesome. Um, that first day at the National, uh, it was so overwhelming. If you've never came to the National before, the, you have to have more than one day. Day one, your brain is mush. You can't think. You're looking at cards. You're looking at people. Um, it, there's no way to find anything. Well, my day one, I, there was really only one things that were on my list. I needed four stickers for my 86, 87 Fleer basketball set, um, and I found them. The first three I found were going to be these... Uh, Isaiah Thomas, Magic Johnson, Alex English. Um, again, not a hundred percent centered right, but I'm just looking for set fillers. Um, all three of them ran me thirty bucks, so that was uh, I almost uh, finished my set right there. I found one more vendor that had the Dr. J. It wasn't a B B C C G eight. I didn't really care about that. I just wanted the card. Super super nice card. It did have a snapped um, case at the bottom there. And I'm getting this for ten bucks. So forty bucks. I completed my my eighty six Fleer basketball set. And uh, and man, am I happy about that. Um, my next stop was actually to go to PSA to grade. 15 cards um, the best deal that was here was actually to pay for the platinum membership um, you get this awesome PSA backpack um, inside the backpack was a complete set of uh, fantasy cards uh, these are kind of cool 304 out of 100 Ty Cobb now this one here was actually in my VIP um, package that I bought for being a VIP so I did get a Honus Wagner 825 out of 100 the rest are all gonna be 304 like the rest another Honus a Clay Matheson, a Nap LaJoey, and a Shoeless Joe Jackson. So those are kind of cool. Uh, got the full set there and a double of the Honus. And that was just for, for being a VIP and then for signing up for the PSA Platinum membership, which gave me free uh, 15 free submissions um, for, for PSA. So I set 14 um, very, very, very crispy 86 Fleer cards in for grading. I'm pretty certain the Clyde Drexler and Akeem Olajuwon are going to come out of 10, which is just going to be amazing. I did submit the Jordan sticker. Um, I'm hoping for a 7 or an 8 on that. And then uh, the 15th card, I was trying to submit 
was this. Again, for my card killer, I wasn't trying to get it graded. I just want an authentic slabbed. Um, it, it is an authentic Sony Michelle Optic rated rookie. It is number 63 out of 75. Um, it was murdered by card killer, and I'm trying to get it slabbed. The everybody at PSA took this card around and kept asking, and she ended. She even had to go to the head grader. She came back with this answer: PSA thought the card was amazing and they loved the concept, but at the show, the head grader was not comfortable trying to slab this as authentic. Now he says he loves the card, and he said that he would consider it if I submitted it through the mail, which I didn't understand. I, I think they're going to give me the same answer anyway. I've already sent it to Beckett, and they, they rejected it, and I tried to hand submit this at PSA, and they rejected it as well. So I don't know if I'll ever be able to get this submitted just for my PC, but I had to try. <coughs> um, so that was kind of cool. Um, also went around, uh, did get a couple cards. Uh, I met Cruz's card stop from Instagram. I did get to meet uh, Nolan Klein with Elite Co. 3. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, this was free with my pin, with my uh, VIP membership. It's a Panini um, National Pack with your boy Zion right on the front. Probably just going to leave this sealed and sell it as the pack just the way it is. Um, I did want to get some silver packs so that I could try to find some Zion. Dave and Adams were selling these for 7 bucks a pack. Um, I went and bought 20 packs myself. There is a few fat ones in there, so I'll be getting to them later. Hopefully, uh, there'll be a nice Zion in there. Even the base is like $100, and that's just nuts. Um, <clears throat> what else did I do? I did wait through the Panini customer service line. Um, there is a couple cards missing here, but I traded in three overdue um, redemptions. I think the best being a Paul Pierce out of 25. Um, from impeccable on card auto uh, they gave me six cards um, I only have no they gave me seven cards actually I only have five left here um, one was a autograph of Tim Tebow I believe on the Jets uh, I did go see Jonathan over at Brothers and Cards I know that's his boy we made a quick deal um, we traded I, I believe I ended up giving it to him and he gave me a um, a optic hollow rated rookie of Josh Allen, which I needed for my for me. So that was just a pretty cool thing. Um, if he didn't have that, I was just going to give him to him anyway. Um, there was another card in here that Panini gave me. It was a Mike Ditka cut auto, just like Dave Dave's card 32, if you've seen his video. Um, that card was included in a massive trade I did for my best pickup of the show, which I'll show you here at the end of the video. But uh, I did get a, a Bruce Smith sticker auto, significant signatures uh, from from. 20, 2009 2010 classics um it is numbered five of five which i thought was cool i did get a silver ink dj moore out of last year's luminance the draft day auto those are not numbers that's pretty cool out of national treasures i got a seven to ten d hop and will fuller um, i thought that was pretty awesome as well and that is from 2016 national treasures so that is the uh the will fuller uh, rookie there I did get a flawless Juju on card, 16 out of 20 from them. Um, that is from 2018 Collegiate Flawless. So that was pretty sweet. And then I also got a 12 out of 15 um, 2017 Flawless Collegiate Mike Garrett and Charles White. So that was what I got from Panini. Funny part is, is the guy that helped me out is... Cody, the, the gentleman that helped me out with my whole Prism first off the line fiasco, and uh, he definitely remembered who Chris G613 was, and I thought that was pretty awesome as well. Um, all right, what's next? Uh, next here, I did have my wife go help me when I was waiting in line for Panini. Um, I did want to get one of the Topps National Packs, so I did buy a box of Topps Chrome. I have not yet ripped it. I hope to do that today. Um, my wife helped me out by going to wait in the top line and got me the one free national pack with that. Uh, I believe this was 109 at Dave and Adams was uh, while I was there. I purchased this in my 20 uh, silver packs at the same time. So those you'll see um, later on. <clears throat> Last night was pretty awesome. If you're not familiar with them, Joey Co. 1980 on YouTube and on uh, eBay. He does eBay breaks. He put me and my wife on the Southern Hobby Distributor Parties list for uh, for last night, and I'm telling you, that was amazing. Um, it was open bar. It was free food. There was a gentleman walking around just handing out packs on packs on packs. 
Um, got some packs of uh, from some sleeves here. Um, somewhere on the long line, I got a Panini Ripper, which is pretty cool. Tons of packs here. This is going to be all the cards. I just kind of sleeved up just the hits out of them. Again, I didn't pay for any of these packs. These are just ripping. I got an Andrew Wiggins out of Panini Father's Day. A DeAndre Baker out of $2.99 from Elite. Uh, Daniel Cabrera out of $9.99 from Don Russ. Just an insert. And then the biggest hit was out of a score pack, number 4 of 20, Darius Slayton. And that's going to be the Red Zone Scorecard Sticker Auto. So... Not bad for uh, for free cards, for just going to a party. Um, if you can hear my voice, probably drank too much last night. I'm not a big drinker. I'm definitely hungover today. <laughs> so that's that's why I don't drink too much. But uh, still an awesome time. Thank you, Joey Co. Got to meet your partner, Shake and Break Mike there. Um, another one of your customers, Lambo Leaper. And then uh, Bob Gale. I forget what your what your Instagram and YouTube name is. Got to hang out with you guys and my wife. Thank you for uh, for making that night an awesome night for me. Um, and then uh, last thing yesterday, right before I left, I, I got finished doing all my stuff. I, I if you've seen me before, I, I have that flawless one hundred and one Randy Moss game use Patriots logo patch auto that I pulled myself. Well, my whole goal was while I was here was to try to find either a cracked ice Josh Allen to trade it for or a um, National Treasures True RPA of Josh Allen. I didn't, I wasn't certain if I could get it straight up. Figured I was probably going to have to throw a lot in it, but I was okay with that as long as I come out with what I was looking for. Well, did a bunch of walking around and uh, ended up at a booth of um, my buddy 716 Sports Cards who just opened a shop in Orchard Park, New York. It's literally 10 minutes from my house. I know Rob personally. We've, we've uh, talked a few times. Ended up over at his booth. Of course, he, he had two NT um, RPAs of Josh Allen. Immediately caught my attention. I'm sitting there trying to trade for him. That's when Nolan Klein from Elite Co. 3 walks over I get completely starstruck. He, he's, uh, he's an idol of mine for, for YouTube. Um, <laughs> just uh, I love the way that uh, he educates people in his videos. So, so I kind of got distracted there, but I went back to the table. and The whole time I'm looking at a Josh Allen in the middle, Rob's elbow is covering up a Patrick Mahomes in the corner that I can't stop staring at. And I'll let you kind of see what it looks like from here. You can see it's a red, white, and blue. And... I'm not a Chiefs fan or anything, but I like big cards. and I couldn't get my eye off of that. So I, I told Rob, I'm like, we're trading for that. I threw down my, my 101 Randy Moss. I threw down the encased Baker Mayfield rookie cap patch auto I pulled out of my encased uh, box that I opened. It's a 9-10. It was numbered 7 out of 25. And I threw down a stack of hundred to $50 to $100 cards, probably about that big. Everything from pretty much all my Nick Chubb autos, just just awesome stuff. A bunch of fifty to hundred dollar cards. I was like, all of it, Rob. I want that card right there. He's like, well, I got eighteen fifty that I need for it, which I'm going to talk to you about in a minute. I, Rob, I love your brother, but I think you comped it wrong. Um, if you look up on eBay, there's two of them listed right now, and they're honors by recollection uh, collection buybacks. It's not that right there. And those are priced around what he had it comp for. So I know my cards. I knew what I was looking for. We ended up making the deal, and I'm pretty certain this is the steal of the show. This is out of those three packs from last year's Prism, the red, white, and blue sparkle sticker auto the good Patrick Mahomes autograph. He literally had it as booth for about a half hour to an hour before I got there. And like I said, it was under his elbow. So it was very, very hard to see. And you can see that's a gem plus. This is a super, super short print. They're not numbered. They're out of 11 or less. So this is comped to like a gold prism Patrick Mahomes auto. Go ahead and look those up. <laughs> awesome, awesome card. I'm so stoked to add this to my collection. I hope the, this bad hotel lighting can just show this off because I'm telling you, man, I could not stop staring at it. I'm so pumped that this is part of my collection. I've never seen one before. Never. I've seen others. I've seen the Mitch Trubisky. Uh, this card right here is a monster, and I am so glad that it is part of my PC currently. So... Just wanted to show you guys. Today I'm going to spend this t the day with my wife. We're going to walk around the city, see some sights. Um, hopefully I'll be at that break later tonight with, uh, with Dude Room Sports Cards, Dave's Cards 32, Dan the Lesser Man 13. 
um, a bunch of others, AJG or AJ Sports Cards 11 or AJ Cards 11. Um, and uh, I forget who else that's actually here at the show. There's, I think, HH Twin Breaks, NorCal Hobby Shop. I don't believe they're here at the show, but they are part of our break. It is a division break, and uh, that should be pretty fun. But um, I'll let you guys keep looking at this as I, as I say goodbye. If you haven't done so, make sure you pop this bubble to subscribe. you got to give me a thumbs up for this because this was a steal of show. Don't forget to comment below because you know, guys, I can't wait to show you what's next. See you later.